I got a Fisher F2 here. I uh, bought this detector for my daughter quite a while back, and she since got married and has kids and never even used it. So I dug it, I dug it out of the closet, put some batteries in it, and I'm here, right down here. I can't even remember how deep it is. I got a, a coin. I can't, I can't remember what it was, but I put it there. I thought I dug it pretty deep to test detectors with. So playing around with this F2 right now, I have it on. Um, zero discrimination and full sensitivity. We're going to try to go over this coin and see if we can hit it. So it's jumping around from corner, quarter to I think dime to I really wasn't watching the display but I know the high tone, high tone usually signals a good target so here it says dime there. We'll try to pinpoint it now. Saying five inches. Let's run some discrimination up. I'll discriminate it all the way up to zinc and just leave zinc, dime, and quarter open. Well, it was hitting a solid 79 there. Okay, that's the F2. It, it, I can't remember what coin it was. It, it's mostly staying in the dime range, right? So, all right, I'm gonna dig it out, and I'm gonna dig it out real careful and see how deep this coin really was for this F2. Now I know out hunting, it'd probably be a, you know, you'd probably just have to get totally lucky to probably, you know, hit it. But it, however deep this is, this thing will hit on it. So let's see. I'm gonna dig it out real careful and measure it. All right, it's. Should be right in here somewhere. Didn't have a 12 inch uh, ruler, I just got this yardstick. So we're gonna dig down and measure a little at a time and see how deep this coin was. It's my yard, so I'm gonna dig a bigger plug. I get this straight here. I'm probably down hmm, four and a half inches so far. All right, and I can't hear the coin yet. Four and a half inches. Let's go another couple inches. I don't want to accidentally dig it up before I can measure it. This blade ain't straight. Let's go with this pro pointer. I'm probably down close to six inches now. Let's see if there's any sign of the coin. Okay, six inches, no sign of the coin. Let me dig another couple inches. I won't dig too much more because I don't remember how deep it was. Dig a couple inches at a time. Make sure this thing is straight. We're probably close to the seven inch mark, okay? I'm gonna see if I can get a tone with it now. Still can't get a tone, so try to dig out another inch. How deep are we now? 
That's the bottom of the hole. Well, maybe seven and a half. I only this ground it level. I'm gonna say seven and a half. I probably took out a half inch. So I'm at seven and a half inches. I think I'm just starting to get a tone with a pin pointer at seven and a half. So let's go down a little bit more. Hey little kitty. All right, go down a little bit farther. Put this right in the bottom. I think the coin's right over here. Ground's unlevel. Try to be fair here. It's it's still probably just barely the seven and a half inch mark. I didn't get a whole lot out that time. So seven and a half inches. All right, I'm getting closer to the coin at seven and a half. I'll take up just a little bit more. See if it's still down there. Uh oh. This is a copper penny. It was between seven and a half and eight inches deep. And uh, that was pretty good. I had to really work for a signal out of the F2, but it did actually kind of hit on it here and there. So not bad, between 7.5 and 8 inches on a copper penny with the F2. That wasn't bad.